So you just finished an incredible edit. You just spent hours editing all these photos and getting them exactly how you want. Now you wanna send them to your client or publish them, but you don't want them to screenshot them or download them before they either pay you or give you credit. So today I'm gonna to show you how to watermark in Lightroom. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to watermark your photos in Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. And yes, you can do it in Lightroom Mobile. I'm not sure if it's available on the free version, but I do know if you have Lightroom Mobile with the Adobe Cloud membership, you can absolutely do it. First thing we're gonna do is go into Lightroom Classic and go into Edit Watermarks. Now, this is where you can upload, adjust, change, or so basically create your watermark. Now you can do something simple. You see over here, watermark style, you have text where you can just simply type anything you want. Let's say Will Simpson Photography. And you'll notice in the bottom left corner here, it is placing what I write here. Now you can change a bunch of different features of this. You can change your font, go here, you can change it to your font, let's just say that one. You can change your style. Well, I guess not, you have regular. <laughs> there might be a different one, let's say Times Roman and you probably have different, yeah, there you go. Then you can do bold, bold italic, it just depends on the font you choose. Then you can align it, you can put it in the center, you can put it in the, you can align the text itself, and then you can change the color of it. So you can change it to blue, green, whatnot, any kind of color that you would like. After that, let's go ahead and close, I don't want pink. I don't want pink. Uh, let's do white, yeah, there we go, white. Okay, so after that, once you've changed the font, the style, how you want it aligned and the color, then you can change the shadow and the actual text. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make this bigger just so you can see what the shadow does. So the opacity is how much you can see the shadow. So right now you can see really clear cut lines on my name. So if I lower this down, now you can't see it at all. So you can affect the opacity. The offset is where it is horizontally, so left or right. So let's say we want it to be falling uh, to the left a little bit, just right there. So now it's shadowing to the left, so the sun would be coming from the right. Again, it's just personal preference here. The radius is how feathered it is. So if you're all the way to zero, it's gonna be a clear cut line. As you slide it, you'll notice that it feathers out, so it becomes kind of a black fade behind it. Just again, personal preference. And then you can do the angle. This is the, um, where, it, where the sun is coming from. So if you want the sun to be coming from the top left, you know, we want minus 21. If you want it from the right side, 144, so on and so forth. And after you've done the shadow, you can then adjust the opacity of the watermark itself. So right now I have it as 100, so it is fully intact. Let's go ahead and lower it down and you'll see it fades out all the way to zero. And usually you want a watermark to be kind of faded out so they can see the image, but if they screenshot it or whatever, they're still gonna have the watermark on it. You can't really mess with that. The next thing is the size, which we adjusted. So big, small, large, medium, it doesn't matter. We're gonna keep it, we're just gonna fill it to the, the photo. Actually, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller for the next part. Couple of options on the size area. You can press fit, which will fit it to the photo and fill, which will just make it huge. I'm not sure exactly why you would use that, but maybe for like an emblem or something like that. But I just keep it on proportional because then I can adjust it as I want it. You scroll down here, you can then adjust the horizontal alignment if it's left, right, or, or wherever you have it placed. Vertical, up, down. Let's say you wanna have it in different spots. You wanna have it in the middle or the, the middle right or top left or whatnot. All you have to do is come down to anchor and click where you want it. So let's put it in the middle or let's put it in the top, top middle or bottom right or middle right, I guess. And then you can adjust them. You can adjust the horizontal. Some of these won't let you adjust. Like if you click the middle, it's stuck in the middle. Even if you come up here and click proportional, still won't let you adjust the, the horizontal setting. But like if I go down here to the bottom middle, I can adjust the vertical. I can bring it up, down, whatever I want. And that's pretty much how to adjust the text. You can put whatever you want in here and let's just do not today. <laughs> and that works good. Um, so then the graphic. So you click on graphic it will automatically open up a box and let's say you want to upload any kind of graphic, a PNG, JPEG work, I recommend PNG because then it won't keep the background. So like if I took this EP logo and loaded it up, you see how it's got the white background. I don't want that. So we're gonna go here and choose the PNG file, which I made in Photoshop. And that's the thing, if you want a fancy watermark, have someone design something. I had a lot of people say that the Lightroom watermarking system was 
basic and it wasn't really fancy? Well, it is. It is very basic and it makes it very easy for you to watermark your photos. However, you can upload graphics. So design your, your signature or your whatnot and put it into a Photoshop file, a PNG, and then upload it. You don't need a really big fancy software or system to create cool watermarks. So let's say, let's take the graphic here that we have uploaded. I'm gonna scroll down here and we have the same options. Opacity, size, Let's see, I can do the whole thing here. There we go, boom. See, now I've watermarked the entire image and I can just do that. And now you can see the photo, but it's clearly watermarked. And if I wanna do it a different space, different location, it's easy. You can also rotate it. So if you upload it upside down, well, you can rotate it to fix it. All right, so that is the easiest way to do the watermark in Lightroom Classic. And if you have one that you like, you go down here to custom and then you can save. Save it as a new preset. That way it makes it a lot faster. Let's do YouTube tutorial watermark. Good. So now we've created that and then we press save or done in this case. Uh, now let's go to export our image. So right click on your image, scroll down to export, go to export. And then what you're gonna do is go down to watermark down here at the bottom, select watermark, click the drop down box, and then select your preset that you just saved. Once this is done, it'll automatically watermark your file. Now I'm just going to save this to my desktop here. Choose, I'm gonna make it 30. Don't worry about all this. This is just making it so it's faster and then export. Let's go ahead and open the file and there you go. There is your watermarked image. So that is as simple as it goes. Now you can send it to people and not worry about them screenshotting it, downloading, et cetera. Just as a note, let's say you wanna do multiple photos. You wanna batch edit and watermark them all and not do it individually. All right, go ahead and select one, shift and click to select multiple images, right click on them, go to export, go export, good. And then scroll down, make sure the watermark is selected and then press export. I'm not gonna do this now because I don't wanna export all of these, but it's simply select them all, export them all at the same time, and they get the same setting. Another note, after you've watermarked images, the watermark option will stay selected. So if you wanna export an image without the watermark, make sure when you go to export those to unselect watermark. This will stay either selected or unselected depending on what you did last. So just remember that when you go to export for later images. And that's all there is to exporting with a watermark in Lightroom Classic. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I know I went fast, so feel free to watch the video again. Also in the description, there is a link to sign up for emails, which I send out tips and tricks and first looks, things like that. That. So sign up for that, join the Exploring Photography newsletter. And at this point, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, really, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Join the journey. I do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. But let's get into Lightroom Mobile now and how to watermark those. First thing, open Lightroom Mobile, select the image that you want to watermark. And then this is a little interesting. They just recently updated this. So if you go into the three dots in the top right and go into settings, You'll notice if you haven't removed this already that it says watermarking. Click watermarking. You'll notice it says to enable watermarking, tap the export, blah, 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 blah. Now you don't need to see this. I just wanted to let you know that this is where it used to be and it is no longer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and press remove from here. So now it is gone from my settings because it doesn't need to be there. Exit out of that. So what it's saying is when you go to export your image out of your phone, that is where the watermarking feature is. Go ahead and click on the box with the arrow in the top right corner and we're going to click export as at the bottom. Then you'll notice at the bottom, you'll see include watermark. So we're gonna select that and it's gonna give you the option to customize. Click that and then you have the same options as in Lightroom Classic, you have text and graphic. So you can enter in whatever text you want at the top there, scroll down, let's go ahead and do Will Simpson photography because I mean, that's what it is. All right, the options that we have in this one is we can adjust the font here, so we can change it to whatever we want. We can make it bold or not. We can make it italicized or not. We can rotate it, just like in the other one. We can also make it white or black. Now, I think that's it. I don't think you can adjust the color any more than white and black. I haven't been able to figure out how to do that, so if you do, comment below, but I think white and black are your options here. You can adjust the size, make it big or small. You can adjust the opacity. Uh, how, how see-through it is or not. You can also adjust the horizontal offset. You'll notice in the image there's nine points. Now, if you select those, that's where the image will go. 
So you can position it that way. There's not the box like there is in Lightroom Classic. So you just touch on the image on those little points and it will move your text there. When it is in a certain point, the same as in Lightroom Classic, you can adjust the vertical offset or not of it. Let's say we put it in the top left corner, but we want it slightly to the right. So we'll just adjust it there and we want it slightly lower. So we just adjust it there. So then you can get it in the exact spot that you want. And finally, you can also use drop shadow. So click drop shadow and you can add a shadow. Now you can't really adjust the drop shadow here, but you can turn it on and off. The next is graphic. So you click graphic and you click on the little, the picture with the plus sign to upload a graphic. And then you have the same thing. You have the little points on the picture that you can adjust and put the, where the graphic goes. And then once you have it where you want it, you can simply adjust where you want. You can adjust the opacity of it. You can adjust the size of it. Go ahead and center it. And you can rotate it. And, and, and that's pretty much it. It's really simple. And the Lightroom CC on the computer is the same on the phone. It gives you the same features. I just don't use Lightroom CC. I always use Lightroom Classic. But that is the easiest way to do watermarking. If you have Lightroom or Lightroom Mobile, you can easily watermark your photos and simply protect them from being screenshotted, downloaded, stolen, etc. It's very easy. And I hope this clears up how to do watermarking. And it's not that basic. It's actually pretty cool because if you get a graphic designed and if you need a logo designer let me know I got you a guy but you get one designed you upload it to Lightroom and it's super easy to do and that's it for this video so if you liked it give it a like comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already I asked you earlier but if you haven't here's another chance to get on the subscription list and never miss a video so I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time